Greetings, my denizens of the deep. It is your host, Poseidon TCG, here with a tutorial video because a lot of people have seen me on a stream using webcams for web for spell table for remote duels, but more importantly, they've also seen me use Moxfield on spell table. Now, there's a lot of different tutorials out there, but this is just me throwing my hat into the ring and me making a compliment on the many different styles that you can use the OBS system on Moxfield. So, without further ado, I am your host, and let's get this video started. So, there are a couple of caveats in using these methods. There are two that come to my mind immediately so the first one is you will need a second monitor now allow me to explain why i say that obs has a function where if you close out of a tab or minimize it it will stop displaying everything now i believe that there is a setting for you to mess with that but i personally don't know where that is so just as a forewarning that if you alt tab, if you only have one screen and you alt tab between spell table and, you know, your mocks, there will be a chance where your mocks just suddenly disappears on spell table. I wanted to give that forewarning because I feel like that is the best thing to do. Number two, some web browsers just don't like you doing that. Now, I don't know which web browsers do that necessarily, but I know in the past when I've helped people you know it with this tutorial i've known that firefox is a bit inconsistent about it and i believe brave the brave web browser just does not like it at all i know explorer google chrome and opera gx do but i just thought i would give that as a prerequisite warning so going on to your web browser of choice that isn't the one of the twos that will probably cause a problem we want to go to the obs projects download page i will put a link in the description below uh, links will be to spell table as well so what you want to do is you want to go here to you know the project you want to download choose your preferred system either it be windows apple or linux depending on how you want to do it i'm on a windows system and i already have this installed so i am just going to switch over to the obs now when it comes to the obs system it is when you first install it, it is going to ask, there's going to be a pop-up that's going to ask you whether or not you want to set this up for recording or streaming. I would recommend for you to set it up with streaming just so it can be optimized to your system because I have seen a t TV run this system before and it was absolutely fine. So, seeing all this, there's only realistically a couple things that we really need to care about. And that is the preview, the control the source and the scenes and we will go over one by one what is what but first let's go over the preview the preview is as it says it lets you preview your screen and you have all these different options we're not going to use that very often but to make any like make any of the settings pop up you just right click sorry about that folks my phone suddenly went off um so let us get started so when you go on these two boxes should be blank i already have this set up so obs doesn't want me to so i just got rid of all of this and i just put a test but how you put a scene is you go down here to the plus sign click on that name it whatever you want i will put you know you can name it whatever like ye wh whatever you want i already have a scene so i'm not going to do that but what you want to do is you want to go over to your sources so when going to your sources, what you want to do is you want to hit this plus sign. And when hitting this plus sign, all you want to do is go to Windows Capture, name it whatever you want. For the sake of this, I will name this Mox Field. Press OK, and it will pull up the first thing that is on your browser. And as you can see, Mox Field is up. And so, if you want to make it a little bit more fancy, you can just hit click on this, either choose the gear option, or since it's highlighted on the preview, you can right click and get all the options. So we're just going to scroll down to transform, we're going to go to edit transformation, and then we're just going to stretch it out to fit our screen. Now, 
now that we have everything stretched out to fit our screen, we're going to, I'm going to show you the first method that you can do. So this is a method that I like to call quick, easy, and dirty. Okay. As you can see, I have separated the mox field into its own separate tab and I've hit F11. So what you can do, this is the, the quickest, the dirtiest method that you can do is you can click this. You go highlight over your left, this red square right here, and then just drag it out. And there you go. Now, now your hand doesn't show your EMZ, your other zones don't show and your searches don't show. All they see is this. And if you're okay with this, by all means, there is a timestamp to show you how to put this whole setup onto Moxfield or onto spell table. Now let us reset everything. And I will show you a another way of doing it without it being so disjointed. Cause I personally do not like when I see that, that uh, I don't, I don't like that. I feel like you can do this a lot better. So another way if you can do it is called squaring the box where you don't really care about showing your other zones. All you care about is putting the battlefield and I will show you how to do that now. So first, what you want to do is you want to highlight all of this and on your keyboard, press and hold the alt key. I believe it's the exact control key on windows, but I have not personally tested that. I have been vouched that. And what you want to do is you want to highlight one of these three boxes. I'm going to highlight the middle. So while holding the alt key, clicking and holding the left button, the left button on the mouse, you're just going to drag that over and bada bing, nothing shows that. And then you're just going to do that for this as well. I personally do not like the gray box, the gray lines. I think that's a bit goofy and yeah. And then there you go. You can just drag this out. And you can right click to edit the transformations to be a little bit more specific. I'm going to cut to that transformation. If you have a second monitor, which I do, I'm going to show you, I probably should have mentioned this a lot sooner, so I'll probably edit this. Okay. If you do have a second monitor or a second screen or however, there is a way for you to like get that frame perfect by right clicking, go to projections and then choosing what choosing the other monitor i cannot show you how to do that necessarily because otherwise it will freak out and voila this is a much cleaner and much easier method of method one but again if you like this you are more than welcome to go to the tie chapter where i do show how to do that but there you go now on to the third method. Now, this is the method that I personally enjoy. So resetting all of this, you could just hit control Z resetting all of this. I call this the display method. Now, why I call it the display method is because what we're going to do is we're going to, I do apologize. I did remember that there was another method that you can use. So I'm going to try to slice this in. So. Please ignore these two because I completely forgot that there was another method. So, so ignoring these two, going back to this, what you can do is you can press that plus sign. You can go to images, just cover, and then you can browse through everything to see what you want as an image to find. Typically, I would recommend an image that covers a large space. So it could be about anything, preferably not a PNG with no, um, with no background, but you know, it is what it is. So here, here we go. We're just going to take this photo of a trash can. There we go. So what we could do is we can change this photo of a trash can and we're just going to mess with the settings. I'm going to fast forward, um, this so we can make it a lot cleaner. Okie dokie. So we are back. I call this the cover method where you can just not really do anything. Slap two images like this and that. I cannot tell you the exact ratio that you want because every screen is 
different. So you're just going to have to finagle and do everything about it. But here you go. And if you like this, you are more than welcome to, you know, skip forward to the time where I show how to put this on spell table. Okay, time for the next method that I like to call the box on box method. Now, this is a little bit more intricate. I personally enjoy doing it this way. If you don't, that's fine. There is a, a bit of a stinker with this method and that'll be shown later on. I will show that later on in this video, but for now, we're just going to move it this way. So first things first, we're just going to close that. So first things first, we are going to go on this one and I'm going to rename this one MF for Mox Field. Why? Because what we're going to do is we're going to go back to method two, the second method that I mentioned, holding the L key and then dragging that forward. So I'm going to fast forward this whole process and we're back. So we are now done with showing just the battlefield so now what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and you see this little eye icon it will turn it off because what we're going to do is we're going to turn off this met this one now this one is very simple so we're just going to hold that alt key and we're just going to drag this down and then drag this up drag this to the side until we nothing until this is all that we can see I can do this one on screen because it's going to be relatively easy. Now, where you want to put this, either it be, you know, in the, the left and right, it doesn't really matter. This is all preference. So I'm just going to put it on the right hand side for that. Now we're just going to turn this off and we're going to click on this one. Now, this is what I meant that this might cause a problem. Cause as you can see, when you choose to click on library, this is where the other zones are our library exile graveyard and our command zone there is no real there's no realistic way for you to move this so as a forewarning that if you do do searches there is a chance that some things will be shown i just want to throw that out there but i personally enjoy this method much much more so holding the alt dragging this down i'm going to fast forward me modifying this and showing you where i put it so when everything's all and done it should look like that but when everything is truly all done it should look like this and if you like how this looks hey i already showed you how to do it and so there you go i personally enjoy this method but as a caveat some things will be shown when you are searching as a heads up i just thought i would let you know about that and try to be as apparent as possible so now that we have everything set up, we are going to show you how to get this whole screen and however method you choose to, however method you choose to use, you are more than welcome to modify each method to your liking, but they're just the general gist of everything to be put onto spell table. So we're going to cut forward to spell table. Okie dokie. So now that we now that you made an account and you are now logged into spell table, this should be how the window looks. You should be your games, the lobbies. We don't really care about this bottom part right now. What we care about the most is right up here where it says your games. So you want to press create game. Let's do let's just call this a test game, right? And then press create. So as spell table works on that this should be the screen now if you have a webcam i don't know why you're using this tutorial but hey whatever thank you for the views what you want to do is you want to click this gear icon and it's going to ask for everything that you want to show so it's obviously trying to pick up my camera i don't want it to pick up my camera i'm going to sh make it show the obs virtual camera and i'm going to make it choose a different mic let's just use that mic for that there is an option to use mobile devices. However, that does drain your phone's battery and it is a bit glitchy. So fair warning. This will disable your camera in your browser and open the uh, game in the URL. There is that and all that stuff. So we're going to press close. So now when you press close, this should show up. And that is absolutely what we're looking for. Because what we want to do now is we want to go back to our OBS. 
where it is capturing everything and a lot of tutorials will tell you that you need to download the virtual camera you do not need to do that anymore they've integrated it into OBS now so what you want to do is you want to go to right here where it says virtual camera as a tidbit for streamers if you are you know this is the default so when you this is the default this is going to be program you do not need to change that if you're not streaming however if you are streaming what i would recommend is to click this instead of just being the program because to show you start virtual camera on the program it's just going to show what the program shows for streamers what you'd want to do is you'd want to click on the options on the virtual camera and make a dedicated source or no make a dedicated scene for it name that and there you go so let's stop let's do that and hey would you look at that spell table is now on mox field it's also trying to pick up my camera i don't know why it's doing that nevertheless there you go as you can see as i mess with my board and placing things out there it goes so i do hope that you found this tutorial very helpful and very insightful and i do hope to see you on wednesdays tuesdays tuesdays i don't do wednesdays anymore on tuesdays when i do place magic the gathering live on www.twitch.tv forward slash beside tcg links are down in the description but in any case, I have been your host, Poseidon TCG, wanting to wish you guys the best of luck in all your endeavors. And remember, because I say this at the end of every single one of my streams and videos, is to take it easy.